Hello, children, I see you. I'm very happy to see you. Greet your family, boogie on down. Give a clap and turn around. And today, we are learning about clever spiders. So we'll start with the song. And as you know, spiders make a web and they make it out of silk, which they pull out just like I'm pulling this out of the yarn. Can you see I'm pulling it out? They pull it out and it's very strong. So we are going to sing a song about spider webs and spiders have many different ways of hunting and many different kinds of webs. You're probably used to an orb web, a round web, but there's also triangle webs and there's sheet webs that look like this. Those are the ones that spiders sit under. And then there's cobwebs that you see in the corners of your house. So we're gonna sing a song about spider webs. And it goes like this. It's called the spider in the web. So get your spider fingers ready. The spider in the web, the spider in the web. Spin, spin, oh watch him spin. The spider in the web, the spider catches bugs. The spider catches bugs. Spin, spin, oh watch him spin. The spider catches bugs. But we are going to be learning another song and this song is going to be about the parts of a spider's body. So let's see what we can learn about a spider's body. Well, first of all, I made a little spider to help us learn. You can see that spiders, like all arthropods, have two parts. They have all arthropods of many parts of the spider's hip too. So let's put two fists up with the two parts. One part, big word alert, is called the cephalothorax. Can you touch your head and your chest at the same time? That's what a cephalothorax is, a head and a chest combined. The muscles for the spider comes out of the chest part and the eyes are in the head part. So let's look at this little model spider and you can see lots of little eyes, two big eyes and six little eyes. So let's make two big eyes. Now put out three fingers and six little eyes. And spiders, like all arthropods, have things attached to those two body parts. They have, let's put out four fingers, eight legs, now, your legs are attached to the bottom of your body, but a spider's legs are attached to its head. Can you put your fingers up by your head? How would you like to have eight legs coming out of your head? So can you see we've got all, all the legs there coming out of the head? And then here at the bottom, spiders have big word alert again. Petty pulps and chalicerae. These are for tearing up the food and holding the food. And down at the end, they have those spinnerets for pulling out the silk to make webs. So we're going to sing a song about the spider's body parts. But before we do, we have to know one more thing about spiders. Can you touch your head? and your elbows and your knee and feel how hard they are, but they've got soft skin on the outside. That hard part is our skeleton and it's inside our skin. But spider skeletons are on the outside like a suit of armor. And the big word alert for that is exoskeleton. 
So we're going to learn a little bit more about that because spiders have something hard on the outside. How are they going to grow? We'll learn about that later. But first, let's sing about spiders. So put out your two body parts for the spider. Spider bodies have two parts, have two parts, have two parts. Spider bodies have two parts, a head and abdomen. The abdomen is like a tummy. I'm gonna stand up so you can see my tummy. Now, let's put up those eight legs again, four on each side. Spiders have eight little legs, little legs, little legs. Spiders have eight little legs. And oh, we said about the spinnerets, spinnerets for silk. So now let's take a look at our spider. But before we do that, we are very lucky. Remember I said spider bodies are hard on the outside. So how are they going to grow to get bigger and bigger and bigger? Because they start as little baby spiders. Well, they have to do something called molt. So they lie down on their backs and they split open, starting right here with the abdomen. And then they wiggle, wiggle, wiggle out. And then they have to let that outside exoskeleton dry off. We're going to see. This is my spider coke, as you can see. There is the cephalothorax. So let's see what it looks like on the other side. Can you see the cephalothorax? Remember, that's the head and chest combined. Now, here's our abdomen right here. And you can see the spider's legs. We're going to look at them actually in Coco. You can see when she See how she broke it open when she lay down on her back? And we have all the legs here. And we can't see all of the parts, because so some of them fell off. But we can see that this happened pretty recently. And the reason we know that is it hasn't all dried up. It's dried up a little bit. So let's get Coco out. And then we can find all the parts. Got a little bit of her substrate hanging on to it. So here's Coco. And we can see her abdomen in the back there. And if you look very carefully at the bottom, you will see her spinnerets. I'm trying to be very gentle with her. Can you see the spinnerets at the very, very bottom there? There they are. Now, let's look at the front of her, where this part that covers her head is called the carapace. So let's look at it. Remember, we just saw it dried out. Let's look at what it looks like here. Whoops. She's trying to crawl all over me. Now let's count her legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see these things in front. I bet you thought those were legs. Those aren't legs. Big word alert. Those are pedipalps. That's to help her sense things. Their sense organs so she can sort of smell. And they also, and see what she's doing now? Look how she's trying to scare us. She's putting those big legs up in front and saying, oh, I'm a great big girl, but we know that she's pretty friendly. This spider doesn't have very strong venom. Venom would be over here. But what she does have is, we call them urticating hairs. They're really bristles, and they will get in my hand. They don't hurt a lot, but I'll feel them. Now, if you look right in front, you'll see two bumps, and those are her chelicerae. Oh, no, another big word. And that's what she chews with. So see, she's really trying to scare us, isn't she? Now, let's see if we can see again her, I don't want to tilt her off of me, 
There we go. Oh, goodness, she's on the underside of me now. Let's get her back up here. Okay, so we can see how she's moving. You can see how she's moving those pedipulps around. And oh, look, she's spinning. Can you see she's spinning? Let's see if I can get around. There's thread all over me. That's because, yeah. Let's see if you can see the spinning if I get her turned around. She's not going to like being handled this much, but can you see the little bits of thread coming out of her spinnerets in the back? Yeah, she'd like to get off of me, and I will take her off in a second. So we learn spider bodies. We call these two parts in arthropods, another big word, so many big words today, tegmata. So all arthropods have bodies and parts. Oh, there's more spinning coming out of my hand. I'm not sure if you can see that. And they all have things attached to those body parts. Her legs have seven parts. And if you see when she lifts them up, you might be able to see that she has two claws and hairs at the bottom. I'll try to get them where you can see that. And those hairs are what allow her to walk on the web without getting stuck. So I'm hoping you can see how hairy she is. And I'm hoping she'll lift those hairs up so you can, her feet up so you can see that. But her legs have seven parts. We can try to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are her legs. And so she has an exoskeleton, which we saw she shed. We have spinneret. She's still spinning on my hand at the back there. And she has petty pulps for holding, clitori for chewing. All of her tummy and things are in here in the abdomen. Here, you can see where her legs come out of the cephalothorax. Remember, we said that was the head and chest combined. That's because that's where the muscles are. So I'm going to put her back so she can get happy in her cage. There we go. Now I've got spinneret silk all over me. And one or two other things. So I'm going to read you a story about spiders and it goes like this let me get my storybook up here and it goes like this clever spiders and their webs the next page says whoops we've got a little spider frass there a uh, spider's legs comes from its head and spinnerets will make the thread. We saw that, at least I could see it. To build a web from limb to limb, you see the web there, and capture what bugs venture in. Now we can take our spider learning that we've been doing and we can use it to make some spider crafts. So you can get a picture of a spider. Here's my spider. And you can color your spider and make a web out of string and use sequins or beads to be the little insects caught in the web. Or how many of you know the song, the Itsy Bitsy Spider? I bet lots of you know that song. Well, you can make an Itsy Bitsy Spider toy. So you can cut out just like I showed you a spider and some clouds and some sun. And what I did is I put them 
on a little band here so I can have the itsy bitsy spider climbs up the spider spout. Here's my spider. And then down comes the rain and washes the spider out. And then up comes the sun and dries out all the rain. And here's the rain and the spider and the itsy bitsy spider goes up the spot again. So you can make that kind of spider craft. But we also can use our snacks to remind us of things we learned about spiders. So remember I said there are many different ways that spiders hunt. Some of them jump and some of them make trap doors. Some of them make funnels and some of them make webs. So I made this web, whoops, there we go, out of frosting. And I used little pumpkin seeds and raisins and cranberries to be the bugs. There's my web. And I made this web, it's sort of breaking up a little bit because of the humidity here, we'll see if we can get that to stay down, out of pretzels. So this web is made out of pretzels. You can think about other things. You could make a web using honey. Or maybe you could make a web with mustard and put pieces of cheese and bologna on it. But I made my web with frosting and here are my raisins and pretzels. That was one of the ways I made it. Now I also made some spiders. So I'm going to hope that most of this doesn't fall off when I tilt it. I think this one I'll just show you. I made this spider out of a cookie. There's the two body parts, cephalothorax and abdomen. And I cut lots of little pieces of pretzel. So here's my pretzel pieces to make the legs and the pedipulps. And I made another spider this one I made out of candies. You can see that it has eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, patty pulps and pellucid right at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six little eyes. Two big eyes. And there's our cephalothorax and our abdomen. And oh, way down at the bottom, our spinnerets. So you can make spider snacks. You could use oranges or broccoli slices or cucumber slices or make cheese circles. So you can be creative and think how you could make your spider web and your spider model. And so now we're going to end with our spider song to remind us about the parts of the spider and the spider web. So first let's sing part about the web. So make your spider, make your web. The spider in the web, the spider in the web. Spin, spin, oh let them spin. The spider in the web, the spider catches bugs. The spider catches bugs. Spin, spin, oh, let him spin, the spider catches bugs. And spider bodies have two parts, have two parts, have two parts. Spider bodies have two parts, a head and abdomen. They call it a head, but we know the real word is cephalothorax. Spider bodies have eight legs, have eight legs, have eight legs. Spider bodies have eight legs and spinnerets for sale. And so now it's time for us to sing our goodbye song. So now it's time to wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye. 
Now it's time to wave bye-bye. I'll see you again next month for Turkeys Are Terrific. And we're gonna learn how to do the turkey pokey. We'll put our right wing in. We'll take our right wing out. We'll put our right wing in and shake it all about. We'll do the turkey pokey and we'll turn ourselves around. That's what it's all about in November.